In this day and age, learning is no longer confined to classrooms and libraries. Through technology, we can go anywhere and do anything. And with our technology, the sky is no longer the limit. But for now, let's head back to Earth. Hello, and welcome to this extra special episode of React News. My name is Raina Cadaville, and I'm from a student-run organization called Global Ambassadors. Technology has done so many wonderful things for us. For me, it lets my voice be heard. Let me be honest with you, I wasn't actually on the moon, and I'm not currently in a real studio. I'm just in front of a green screen. This is my friend Nick, and it's his magic that takes me anywhere I want to go. With a couple of cameras, a green screen, and a little thing we call the TriCaster, I'm able to bring the entire world to you. Want to see? Hey Nick, take me to, say, Pelican Island. This is Pelican Island, the place where President Roosevelt started the National Wildlife Refuge System, which now protects over 50 million acres of wilderness across the U.S. Think that's awesome? We can do even more. For the past 16 years, Global Ambassadors has been using technology like video conferencing and digital media to teach young people like myself some important concepts. We all have similar problems and they're easier solved if we help each other and face them together. We're not as different as we seem. We have broken racial, cultural, religious, geographic, and gender-based boundaries by virtually traveling across the United States into the UK, Congo, China, Sweden, New Zealand, India, and recently Lebanon. In React News, a team of over 100 students create newscasts like this one about important stories that deserve to be told. Our mission is to educate, empower, and inspire people around us to make a difference. We prove to students that they have the power to be agents of change without even leaving their desks. So what does technology mean to us? With just a few taps and a click, we can learn anything and teach anything. Technology is how we become inspired and how we inspire others. Technology brought us to the United Nations. It brought us to a school in Sojo, China through a program called Greenleaf, to a Syrian refugee camp in Lebanon, a UN camp for child soldiers in the Congo. Technology brought me to the National Mall and into the nation's capital as a lobbyist. Technology gave me my voice and it's bringing my voice to you. It helps us to understand the problems our world faces and how much we can do to help fix them. It it brings me together with all the others in the world who think like me, who believe in positive energy and positive change, who believe in peace. What's more powerful than that? Look, it's simple. We live in an age where ideas spread like wildfire, and with the right ideas, technology can be the key to peace. Together, connected, I believe that we can achieve a brighter future for all. You, Mr. President, told me to be the change that I seek. This is that change.